Are you ready to learn about herpes? Yeah! First off, there are two types of herpes named herpes 1 and herpes 2. They're caused by two different types of herpes simplex viruses. Herpes 1 usually presents itself as cold sores or fever blisters found inside the mouth or on the lips. They can sometimes be found in the genital area, face, and eyes. The question that was asked was, can you spread herpes 1 by touching other people even though you don't have breakouts yet? Herpes is mostly contagious during an active outbreak. This means that while cold sores or fever blisters are present, you are more likely to spread the virus. It's usually spread through skin-to-skin -skin contact like kissing or sharing items that have touched your mouth, like toothbrushes, straws, and cups. However, it can occasionally be spread when a person is asymptomatic. Asymptomatic means that you're not having a breakout. One study reports that those with herpes 1 only shed the virus in their saliva 5% of the time when they show no symptoms. So the answer to your question is yes, it is possible to catch herpes from someone with no breakouts, but it's very, very rare. One way to prevent spreading herpes, since it's not curable, is to avoid kissing, sharing cups, straws, and toothbrushes during breakouts. During sexual activity, use protection such as a condom or dental dam during sex. Be aware that this is not foolproof because condoms only cover the shaft and not the surrounding areas that could have the virus, such as the inner thigh or the upper groin area. So, with that being said, Yeri is going to tell you all about herpes 2. Hi, my name is Yeri. Herpes 2 is caused by herpes simplex virus 2 which causes about 90% of the general herpes infection. Question is, how is it transmitted? Herpes is mainly transmitted through sexual intercourse, and by intercourse, we're talking about anal, oral, and vaginal sex. This is because the lining of the mouth, vagina, penis, and anus can get easily infected with herpes virus. So let's say you have oral sex with someone that has open sores in their genitals, then it could easily spread to your mouth. Herpes is most contagious when there's open sores. However, just because a person doesn't have any open sores or symptoms, it does not mean they can't pass the virus. Sometimes the virus could be sitting on their skin without any signs. So if it's sitting on their skin around their genitals and their partner has intercourse with them, it could be qu transmitted quite easily. So the question that a lot of people ask is, can you get herpes by just casually touching someone with the virus? The answer is most likely not. So our skin actually acts as a really good barrier. So even if you happen to directly touch the virus residing on their skin, this, the virus won't really go through your skin and infect you. Unless there's open cut or burn or wound or like a rash or other sores. So skin to skin infection is pretty rare. So the last question was, can pregnant women pass the virus to their baby? If the person had herpes before she became pregnant, her immune system has built the ability to fight the virus and will protect the baby. In this case, the chance of passing on to the baby is less than 1%. She just has to make sure there are no outbreaks or open sores in her birth canal when she's giving birth. If the person got infected after she became pregnant, her immune system has not yet learned to fight the virus. So the chance of passing the virus to the baby becomes really high. We're talking 30 to 50%. So that was it for herpes 2. So just to re-emphasize some of the things mentioned earlier, one, always get tested and please encourage your partner to be tested as well. Herpes, just like any other STIs, are very asymptomatic. So a person may have it and don't even know they have it just because they don't see any symptoms or any open sores. Two, always use protection, such as dental dams, condoms, female condoms. You could always come by office to grab it for free. And even though they're not 100% guaranteed way to protect you from it, it's very effective as long as it's used consistently. So three, if you or your partner has herpes, please talk to your doctor about getting antiviral medicine this could help decrease the number of outbreaks. There's also cream that's available to help the blisters heal faster. If you have any more questions about herpes virus 1 or 2, please feel free to ask. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye. Yeri, get it together.